When does something end? How do you begin it? And those are probably the most important questions any artist has to answer. If you go back to the late 70s, I was an early settler in Soho, and that's where my first you know, formal dance studio existed. So I had just a blessed period of space and time to create this new way to move, this way to fly. Danger occurs when you don't know where you are. And I, I posit that anyone who ever takes both feet off the ground is confused about where they are. When you're watching an event happen, sometimes in the circus or in theater or in dance concerts, you'll, you'll know. You can predict what's going to happen. And I'm trying to have people's attention be like, now what are they, why are they ever, what are they ever going to do now? We actually do our theatrical shows with a DJ and a VJ, you know, Zaire Baptiste. He riles up the crowd at the beginning. I mean, he tells them they can keep their cell phones on and, you know, a place where they feel that it's like a public park, not a private studio. I think that my way of working with them, I really love them. Um, I've chosen each one of them carefully. But I like running it, running it, and, I, and okay. then I knew where I was. So I'm very I, interested so in what they think. These are not your normal dancer, that's for sure. Well, you have to be willing to jump off a cliff and not freak out. Oh, gorgeous. Woo. When each of the dancers sort of um, personalizes the way they fly or fall. And you see the virtuosity of the way they use their time as they're plummeting to the earth. It just becomes this whole other kind of engagement. Fabio, Fabio Tavares, my associate artistic director, was right one of the first people who started to perform this work playfully and then wave at the audience when he's running by. I'm like, ooh, I don't think you're supposed to do that in downtown postmodern dance. But then I thought, I saw the audience just opens up. I think part of it was he was so strong. He wasn't suffering as much as the other people. Well, when we came in to do a piece that I'm now calling Human Fountain, I, I set the top platform as high as I could get it in here. What I really was thinking of is to mimic the Bellagio fountains, but with human bodies, not water. And here we fall from about 30 feet, and you're probably hitting the ground at about 36 miles an hour. I'm interested in how much of a hit can a body take. Oh! Ned! Did you... He heard himself. What? You... Ned, do you want to put some... Do you want to put some ointment on your shin?
anything arbitrary. It's just pure function. And I believe that that's probably where the heart of beauty lies. Action events are episodic, and I really believe that they're abrupt and not smooth. Circles never end. And I've been working with churning for about five years now. And there's no real moment that it ends, ever. I end in the middle. Action's always, action's always, right? It doesn't have a period. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs>